how to deal with ageism. This just happened yesterday here in Sicily. <laughs> now, I've noticed when I shop for clothing in Italy, this has happened. It hasn't happened in the USA actually, but <laughs> I'm starting to notice, um, especially in Florence, which is the Beverly Hills of Italy, um, fancy, fancy, fancy dressed shopkeepers. Well, they're not, it's not even their shop. They're uh, youngsters who give you the up and down, like my camping gear dress attire is not accepted in this fancy store, even though I have some money and could buy something. Anyway, uh, what happened yesterday, <laughs> was funny because I realized what was going on. So I go into this store, there's nobody in there. Um, now it's a different process here when you shop. You're If nobody's in the store, you're given too much attention and they wanna show you all these outfits that you hate. <laughs> so she started showing me these long, very, you know, this is a beach town, but she was showing me these long dresses covering all of your skin except for your arms. Boxy, not even, no waist. I just don't wear stuff like that. And I would just keep, this was my answer. At, at times, she did know English, I would say. That would make me look 10 years older and it would make me look 10 pounds fatter. And then I just kept going, no. When you get to 65 plus, you know what looks good on you. I did end up getting this nice linen shirt, which I'd been looking for because linen shirts in Italy are very nicely made with beautiful Italian linen fabric, not expensive. Anyway, what happened was I found, she didn't pick these out. <laughs> She was running around the store picking out stuff that I would never wear and showing it to me. And I just kept saying no and looking. You got to keep looking because she's not going to show you the stuff. So finally, I find, oh my gosh, they have linen shirts. This is not a place that you would have thought. It's like these brightly colored, all kinds of different patterns, which I don't wear patterns. Um, I just don't. So she was showing me those. And so I found them, the linen shirts, and I was so excited. And she wanted me to get the biggest one. <laughs> so I tried them on. So here's the tip. You have to, as you know, you didn't get to 65 plus without knowing what you look good in and what you like to wear. So you just keep on doing that. You don't have to call anybody out. All you have to do is say no and keep looking. I was really surprised to find the linen shirts because it didn't seem like the kind of sh shop that would have them. It was, it just mainly seemed like these big boxy old lady dresses. And I know plenty of women over age 65 that look good, that feel good, that are fit and dress nicely, myself included. So keep on, keep on going when you go shopping. There's no age to what you can wear. If you feel good in it and you like how you look in it, no one else's opinion matters. Don't ever think, oh, I can't wear this short skirt because I'm too old. Now, I personally, I used to wear my skirts very short, 70s, 80s, 1990s even into the 2000s, um, but I don't as much. I can't remember the last time I did, actually. Because um, I like pants. They're really comfortable. You can be very stylish in pants, and the dresses I've worn are uh, more around the knee, but that's me. If your legs are great and you feel good, do it. So that's how you handle ageism at the store. Just say no. <laughs> and I'm very happy with my linen shirt. <laughs>